Welcome back students. In the previous class, we have discussed the final platinum matrix or also called the platforms. So here in this class, now we shall discuss the wrong ones or the final that is askel matrix. Right? So here askel refers to askel refers to round head. When this or element is referred to worms. Right? So here in short they are also called or they are commonly called round worms and the common, uh, very prominent property of this phylum is the organism which has circular body in their cross section. So here when we observe or when we take a cross section of this organisms we find a cubular picture, right? So that they are circular in shape. Hence they are called the round worms. Hence they have a circular outline or the circular body, they are called round worms. Now when we speak about the habit, they are either free living or they are also called the parasitic forms. Both are present, either they are free living, sometimes they may also be parasites. So if they are parasites, they are present within the plants and animals. Plants or animals. So they are which and do parasitic forms. So if they are free living, they may be either aquatic, that is they may come the living in water or they may be terrestrial, that is they may live on land. So there is the variations in the habit. So remember, if they are free living or the, the animals are either free living or parasitic forms, if they are free living, they may be aquatic or terrestrial, well as if they are parasitic forms, they may be inhabiting either plants or animals. Now speaking about the symmetry. They are bilaterally symmetrical organisms, even similar to that of platforms. So here also we will find the bilateral symmetrical organisms and they are triploblastic similar as that of platforms. They are triploblastic with ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. And here there is variation in the coelom. That is in the earlier phylum, that is the plant languages, they were aceromates, that is here a little advanced, that is the presence of pseudocelomates, that is the pseudoderm, they are present in patches around the endoderm and within the ectoderm. We have got the diagram, right? So here the ectoderm and the endoderm within the in where there is a mesoderm which are present in patches. So the, such kind of organisms they are called the pseudocelomates. Right? So the phylum they possesses pseudocelomate organisms. And then the elementary canal there is well developed. The elementary canal there is nothing but the what we call the food, filetry, digestion. The digestion there is well developed with a complete muscular cellulose. So when we study our digestive system, we find that there is a nose and then there is a mouth which leads to a complex structure line right? and there is a region for pharynx. Similarly, even in this organism, we find that the elementary canals are that there is well developed with some a complete uh, there is well developed or what is called the complete elementary canal that starts with mouth and ends with a anus. So that is what is called the complete elementary canal. If that is the case, then that is called complete. Right? So given here in Astrogonfield or Round Bones, the elementary canals are uh, there is complete with a well-built muscular. And then the 
as we speak about elementary canal there should be excretory system also right so there the excretory waves they are expelled out through a tube and it ends with the pore that is called this excretory pore so for example in this diagram at the neck region you will find a form like in a uh, in Okay. That is how there is a expelling of the organic waste from the body. So excretory waste are sent out to a tube and which ends in a pore. That is called the excretory pore. Here the sexes are separate. That is the male and females. They are different. So this is a male. Which is shorter compared to the female. Okay, as females they are longer in size when compared to the males. So remember the sexes are separate or what is called it? They are dioecious. Clear? And here the fertilization is internal. So the male gametes release from the male body. That enters into the female body and then there it occurs, occurs fertilization. And the development that can be either direct or indirect. So both the uh, chances are present. That is the direct forms where the young ones or the newborn and one they resemble that of the parents. And sometimes we may also different from that of the parents. So both the cases are present. That, that is the development that may be direct or indirect. And the fertilization is internal. Right? So these are all the important characteristics of the phylum as the is also called the rhombos. So now if we revise this phylum which comprises of the organism which has circular body, hence the name round forms. And when we speak about the habit, they are either free living or they are parasitic. If it is free living, then it may be either aquatic or terrestrial forms. Whereas, <coughs> sorry, if it is parasitic, then it is endoparasitic in nature, which is present. In the, uh, uh, which is present inside either plants or animals. And let us speak about the symmetry. It is bilateral, bilateral, symmetrical, and triple blasted with pseudo stigma. Understood? That is, the symmetry is bilateral, the organ uh, layers are three, that is, the organisms are. Trichoblastic and we are pseudo pseudomates. Then the elementary canal or the digestive canal, a digestive system that is complete with a proper form and a anus in the form of excretory food. And the phalanx, that is the elementary canal, is a kind of muscular phalanx, a phalanx that is well developed. And the excretory system is Present with a wherein the excretion waves, waves are expelled out to a tube which ends in a pore that is called the excretory pore. And then the sexes are separate, that is also called dioecious, wherein the males and females are different. The males are shorter than compared to the females. Here the fertilization is internal, the development may be either direct or Indirect. That is, both the chances are present. That is, the young ones may look similar to that of the parents, or they may look different. Okay. So, examples for this platform are the round box, that is, the commonly used round box, that is, Astaris, and then the phylarian worm, which causes the infantiasis or phylariasis. So this is a disease. That is possible. This is an 
endoparasitic rhombos that is the belonging to the genus Fasciaria. So these are very common examples for that of the Ascomentis. Right. So this is the important. Uh, these are the important characteristics and examples. So everybody is asked for uh, the exams. We have to write all these important characters and highlighting this muscular bearings, the excretory pores, and then the digestive forms, the pseudocelomates, and then the cellular animal body. Understood. So all these are important characters. So if you have any doubts or if you didn't understand any of the topics, please share 